So hello everybody, I'm Shka Adult and I play Golda in Fiddler on the Roof. And I'm Melissa Sebastian, the studying performing arts at Hamilton College and I play the role of Tevye in Fiddler on the Roof. So Golda, a uh, character is very funny, sarcastic, very strict parent, but when it comes to her family, she is very sensitive, but she doesn't really show it when it comes to them. Tevye, on the other hand, uh, is very playful, childish at times, childlike at times, um, but he's very much set in his traditions and his faith and his religion. Um, but he's a family man and he only wants what's best for his family, but he can also be very stubborn at times. Yes, with is getting married and deciding for themselves, which is breaking the tradition, it causes Tevye and Golda to find that they too started loving each other even though it wasn't arranged that way. They were set together by their parents, but they actually fell in love. And only later, um, he, later in the play, you find out that he realizes um, that he needs to ask her this question uh, of whether she loves him because of the daughters that gets married. So, um, yeah, I think um, Tevye, I can also say he's very sentimental at a, at a point and very much um, emotional um, at a point where his daughters go against his wishes. Yes, very much, and because of him deciding without his wife's consent, it angers her, but it also causes her to realize, but I actually love this old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, he is a very funny man, he's very witty, and um, he only wants, like I said, what's best for his family. Yeah. We are Hodo, and I'm Patrick, and our couple, um, we are, we love, he is what? And um, I'm a radical student actually yeah. from Kiev. From another town, I'm from Anatevka. And he's from Kiev. Um, we love each other really, we love each other. But we are not allowed to get married um, because there's a matchmaker. Yeah. Unfortunately, so we don't get to choose who to marry. But there's a twist. I'm not going to say what it is. Yeah, um, we something that makes our marriage very nice and we just are very happy at the end. Yeah, he's my childhood love, so... <laughs> <laughs> and Chava and Pietka, we bring the element of surprise in the sense that he's a Russian and I'm just a Jew girl who loves books. So, he lures me in. He's <laughs> <laughs> a very nice kid, of course. He's a very simple guy, a guy who's very good of himself. And I like the kid the character because it's so different from me because I am the totally opposite from the Edgar and I love this character because he's very strong and he says what he wants so it's a very nice character. And because of that my parents end up discovering me. Thank you very much for the <laughs> She's the matchmaker in Fiddler that sets me up with what I thought is going to be my bride which turned out not to be but I held no grudges. I paid my dues that I owe because she did her work. <laughs> and I get a pretty good work work. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's no verbal interaction still between us, but there's still a strong connection between us. Hi everybody, my name is Kubus Hanakom and I'm the director of Fiddler on the Roof, um, which is a North Indian College performing arts production taking place at the jo Joseph Stone Corporate Tutorial. In Africa. Mm. Um, I'm Tyron Sutman, um, I'm the choreographer and stage manager of the production. Um, we're looking forward to see you guys at the production. It's um, overwhelming and blown away production. I mean, what am I <laughs> um, If I can just tell you a little bit more about the production, uh, uh, the cast consists out of first and second year students uh, and they had an equal opportunity during the auditions but the preference went to the second year students in order to offer them the, the opportunity. Uh, we've got a tremendous talent in the department, um, both when it comes to singing, acting, um, and of course dancing, which Tyron will be able to tell you more about. Um, I, I might just mention that 
that because of the dance, uh, talent that we've got in the department, we could act actually venture out into various styles, uh, amongst other styles, um, folk dancing, which, which we enjoy thoroughly in the production. Yeah, I've come a lot of here, but it's, I thought it's very traditional, people do it traditional, but I thought we thought that we have to go with the extra mile of this production. So we, I've added various of, um, various styles of, of um, dance. For instance, folk dance is a bit of hip hop somewhere, I'm not going to tell you, <laughs> somewhere, and it's a bit of contemporary. It's a a lot of ballet in it, but folk songs the most because I've done it like, most of my years and it's, it's fun, they enjoy it and yes. They, they always take to it naturally, I mm -hmm. find, uh, as they take to a lot of aspects of this particular production. Um, at times we have to re-emphasize the classicalness of, of the production because, especially because of the beautiful classical classically orientated music. Um, it's, it's a beautiful score and we thoroughly enjoy working with it. Um, just for those of you who don't know the story and the relevance of this production in 2016 in South Africa, uh, it's based on the persecution of the Jews in Russia around about 1900. It is something which the students related to very quickly. Initially they objected to it but um, finally they took to it and they started understanding it and they ran with it. And at times we did not want to take away the spontaneity of their own personal experiences in South Africa. Um, so so we, we allowed it to uh, gain momentum and a life of its own. For students that's from the 2016 16th century, it's Actually, we open, we actually blown away for what they're doing, and they understand, like myself, said, they understand the story more, they understand the type of dancing as well, and I think they've grown so tremendously that we can actually put them on a professional stage. Yeah. We can sell this, but this production can run for two weeks or a month or so, but they're actually doing the actors, they're fantastic and phenomenal. They do their best and. Yeah, they, they're very good, very good. And um, we would obviously like you to come and support this very iconic classic musical um, and, and allow it to take you back to days gone by. Mm, so we'd like you to go book your tickets at Copy Ticket. Uh, tickets go for 50 Rand and it'll be, the show will be held at Joseph Stum Auditorium in Athlon. It starts at 7.30 pm, so we'll see you there.